Hello and welcome to part three of my um, loft adventures. This one, the um, I hope you'll excuse the lighting because today I'm going to be messing around with the lights up here and trying to add a couple more in because it's a bit gloomy up here as you've seen from the last video. So at the moment we've got a switch down there with a cable bringing power up to this light here. So my intention is to essentially keep this one where it is because it's basically okay and extend the cable up over the top of here and then along all the way down the side of the um, side of the loft so it's sort of got light further down it as well. So first things first, let's take this apart and see how it's all wired together. Make sure they've done things reasonably sensibly and I can carry on from where they've got to. Yeah, that's good. It's a fairly, it's a pretty similar design to, um, to the extra ones I bought and had a look at. I might take this one down anyway though because looking at it, it's not quite so well designed for being in the middle. So there's the ones I've bought have got three-way um, junction blocks in them, whereas this one's only got uh, two-way ones. So it's not going to be as easy to fit an in and an out cable. I could do it through the by squishing two into the same into the same um, socket. Let's see how easy that is to do. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking undoing the, one of the screws that holds it in place in order to shift it round a bit like that to allow me to get the end of this cable in there as well. Okay, so now I'm cutting off the insulation from the outside of the cable in order to get at the in inner conductors. This is a lot, and it's a lot stiffer than I'm used to, but that's because I'm used to working on low voltage stranded cable, whereas this is high voltage, relatively high current, so and solid core. So it's a lot stiffer. There we go. Okay, so we've got three core here. We've got the um, brown for live, blue for neutral, and then unshielded for earth. The uh, socket, the what, what cable that's already in here is a bit older than that though, so here we've got um, red for live and black for neutral. All right, now I'm going to change my mind. It's too difficult getting the, getting two wires into each connector. So I'm going to pull this light housing off and put the other one on instead, one of my new ones, because as previously mentioned, they've got extra space for conductors. Here we go, here's the replacement. So I'll wire this one up before I attach it to the wall, just to make things a bit easier. It wasn't all that long ago that the standard changed from um, black and red to blue and brown. I think it was 2014? Was it 2004? It's, I'm pretty sure it had a four in it anyway. So I can't criticize them too much for this, these being the um, old standard. <laughs> Working with solid core is hard work though. Just so inflexible. Okay, hopefully that's the hard bit. We now have the actual light bayonet itself, which goes into the other two. Oh, and this is multi-core, so this is going to be much easier to put in. It does make me wonder if I should tin it with a soldering iron first, but it wasn't when I bought it, so I'm not going to worry about it. One. <laughs> well, I say one, it's not even that yet. Okay, so now all the wiring's done, this bayonet fitting should clip into the holder. Unfortunately, all this wiring underneath is kind of in the way. Hurrah! Oh, great success! And it only took me, I don't want to think how long. <laughs> oh. That still isn't holding quite as well as it should. Maybe once I get the covers back on, it'll help. What do you know? It does help. <laughs> there. One complete. Oh, that's quite nice and solid as well. Okay, it was an effort to do, but now it's in place. I'm quite happy with it. Next thing to do is to take, bring the uh, cable across the ceiling and make sure it's well attached. Now, I have to admit, these cable clips aren't quite the right size for this cable. They're a bit small but unfortunately B&Q wasn't properly open because of the quarantine, so I've not managed to get the right sized ones. However, I think if I don't drop them all down the hatch, they should be okay. I just need to work out the best way of using them. This is at least a forehand job. 
Oh well. Yeah, these are working quite well, even though they're a bit too small. They're not going all the way around the cable as they ideally should, so I think I'm going to be replacing them at some point. But they are holding it quite nicely, and it means I've got some actual cable ties on it, some cable holders on here, such, so it can't go anywhere. Okay, let's put the next light fitting here, I think. I guess this might not be making for the best episode on um, yet on my channel, because I'm aware you can only, prob you probably can't see what I'm doing very well from where the camera is, and I'm not, well, I don't know. I'll move it along a bit in a Let's move it along a bit now. Okay, so I want to mount this on here, basically about there. There's one screw hole there and one there. So I'm gonna pilot drill those. Well, I can't go the entire episode without using any power tools, can I? I think there's more light coming from this drill than there is from the actual torches I've got set up in here. And I'm happy using a manual screwdriver here, partly because I'm only doing two screws up, but also I feel it gives me a bit more control and it's easier to get into the small space inside the junction box of the light fitting. There we go. Nicely, nicely. I haven't put the actual <laughs> light holder in there. Let's do that before we try and finish up this one. It's always blue to blue and brown to brown. That actually looks quite neat now. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed. Still got the same problem with the heavy solid core wire getting in the way. I think I need to cut back a little bit of the insulation on the outside of the cable gives us a little bit more room to play. I can push those over there a bit. Still not quite room. I think I have a, I have a tool that can help with that. Perfect, that fits. <laughs> oh, what can't be solved with a hammer? Assemble that, there we go. Yeah, that's well, well attached, happy with that. Now we need to sort of neaten this cable up a bit because with this being my first time doing anything quite like this, I've not measured the cable off exactly perfectly. It could be slightly better, but I think it's not going to be a problem. If I just pin it down here, there's a little bit of a kink there at the um, where it goes up to the, into the, into the light fitting, but it's not too, not too bad. I'll put one more of these in. Yeah, that's held pretty securely. Now we do the same sort of thing with the cable coming out the, to carry on the other way. And then we carry on down the, uh, down the loft. And then put the covers on. Right. Now I just need to put bulbs in them and find out if they work. I ordered some nice new modern LED bulbs from Amazon, uh, but they haven't arrived yet. So for testing purposes, we're gonna stick in about 200 watts worth of incandescent bulbs and see what happens. But once some nice new bulbs arrive, I'll switch them back over and uh, actually be vaguely efficient. Here we go, fingers crossed. Success! Wow. That is so much better. I can actually see it up here now. I mean, okay, granted, there's not that much worthwhile to see up here, but to have it actually properly lit makes such a nice change. It's going to make it so much easier to work up here for laying the rest of the floor. You can see how far I've got now. It also gives you a bit of a, a feel for how much rubbish has been left up here, like 
the notice board and the bed frame and there's a couple of skateboards in the corner over there. This place is ridiculous. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm quite pleased with that. It's only taken me um, a couple of hours, but now we've got a bit more lighting up here. I think I'll probably go along and put some more um, some more clips in along this cable here, just just to make sure. It's, it's held okay as it is, and it's not like it's going to get caught on anything. But I feel that because because I've used clips that are a bit small, I should probably put a few more in there. But basically, job done. And a great success. Well, yeah, I'm pleased with that. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope this has been an interesting video. If there's anything I've done that you have any questions about, whether it's because you want to do something yourself, something similar yourself, and you want to know how I did it, or you think I've done something horrifically wrong and my house is going to burn down, please let me know in the comments. I uh, always look forward to hearing from you. So yeah, I hope you'll stick around and I'll see you in the next video when I'm going to do some more of this floor laying. Or if you're interested, check out some of the gaming videos as well. They'll be there for a while. <laughs> Thanks for watching.